Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for joining me. Ooh, boys and girls, we got a good one today. Of course, I am Tristan. I am your host, and it is the Spooky Season Movie Marathon, day 29. (sighs) And I told you I had a feeling it was going to get good. Today, we watched Possessor. You have a very special nature. One we've worked hard together to unlock. Possessor is about a futuristic company who has turned assassination into quite an operation. Their assassins literally possess and can use them to get rid of whoever and whatever they want. Oh, it's they? How was your trip? Dull. Extraordinarily dull. Our lead character, this company's golden girl assassin, and her latest victim, and how their tenuous connection starts to break. First off, Brandon Cronenberg, son of one of my favorite filmmakers, David Cronenberg. You know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, now does it? And in this regard, thank God. Big up, big up the whole island, massive. It's your boy Chetana, coming straight from the Golden Gloves, you know what I'm saying? Tom Hanks' son wants to say the N-word. You tried the, the, the whole thing. Yeah. What are your feelings on that now? Number one, I was on a lot of drugs. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this might be... This might be my favorite movie of the month. I don't know if in the next two days we're going to get any better than this movie right here. Ready? Let's get into why it's so incredible. Let's just get it out of the way. The acting is incredible in this movie. Andrea Risebro. You and Tony Collette need to stop being so good at your jobs. <laughs> you are taking these directors' visions and making them even more visceral and real and empathetic and brilliant when you die the actor who plays our lead i can't even remember this guy's name is incredible the way these actors play multiple psyches the wrestling match of the mind is awesome this movie would not have worked without solid solid performances and you got them here the script It is a brilliantly thrilling, deep sci-fi character study. It's become a danger. Where is she? Come out or I'll do it! And it pulls it all off. Lo and behold, it is of course also written by Brandon Cronenberg. He's saying a lot of things with this film. All of them I can't even touch on here, but what you give your soul up to, whether through willingness or unwillingness, um, how our society feels about ownership and privacy. And I think we should probably get into why this movie is such a gorgeous example of personality behind the camera. All right, interface is active and we're at full power. This might be a bit of a rough jump. I've never seen such creativity and ingenious use of tried and true 
methods of cinema here. It is absolutely inspiring. Camera work, uh, special effects, cinematography, lighting, framing. I mean, it's like Panos, Cosmatos, got into bed with Friedkin and David Cronenberg was watching. I, I mean, I I can't stress how creative this movie is. The, the technical aspects of this film are nothing short of perfection. He just utilizes these techniques in such a unique and special way that all drives this movie forward, that simple yellow light leaks. Make you, oh, what's going on? Oh, it's very telling. It's very representative of the struggle within the mind of these two characters as they inhabit each other. Um, and so the visual representation of that is absolutely breathtaking. I, I just kept having my mind blown by simple color meeting, framing meeting effect. And I haven't felt that since watching Mandy. It's such a unique vision. And we say that about a lot of movies every year. Rarely does it actually happen. And this is one of those movies. It's like a, a something you've never seen before with such an interesting plot. Sci-fi assassins with computerized possession for the perfect kill. When's the last time you've seen a great science fiction horror movie that doesn't involve a giant alien or interdimensional creature? I'm, I'm struggling to think of it. It always involves a crash landing UFO, right? Like this movie gets under your skin with sheer force of creative will. And if you didn't know, David Cronenberg, his father, is famous for body horror. He is a pioneer in that subgenre. He's just a brilliant filmmaker who uses that kind of visceral visual ah! to tell interesting metaphors and stories. You know, it's not exploitative for Cronenberg. It's not to make teens go, Ugh. it's to drive the point home and to freak you out while telling you more of a story. And Brandon has picked that up just perfectly from his dad because all of this gore, and there is a lot. These are some of the most visceral and haunting murder scenes I've seen his use of these practical effects is so focused and purposeful and specific. It could be a flash and it's used right, or it could be achingly long with the gore and it's used right. So this is a movie that has almost no faults to me. It's a treat when you get to see movies like this and you don't get to experience this kind of unique horror often. It's a completely, utterly unique vision unto itself that just inspires me. You know, it's, it's an inspiring kind of dread and darkness and uh, macabre, you know? It's so expressive and I hate the word, but artistic. It just is. I cannot recommend this movie enough. I, I, I really, really hope you find it and, and give it a chance because I, I will wager you've never seen anything like it before. So 
There is our episode. Thank you so much, guys. You're amazing. Come on back for the last few days. We got a couple winners. Like the episode, share the episode, subscribe to the channel because we got a whole playlist of movies that you still have time to check out. So if we can give you one spooky movie night, this has all been worth it. Have a good one, guys. Bye.